hand? Would you take your guy's hand? Jim McFarland and Denise Laxton, you are surrounded tonight by your family and friends all of whom are here to share in your joy on this very special occasion. This will be one of the most memorable and happy days of your entire lives. On this, your wedding day, you stand apart from all other beings. You stand within the beautiful circle of your love. For this reason, we are here in the presence of God, to join you both in holy matrimony. And God has declared that marriage is an honorable and a desirable state. It was designed by God to bring the ultimate in happiness and personal satisfaction. The basic guidelines are that we should put God first, the welfare of our mate second, and ourselves last. I would like to ask all of the family and friends to just remain standing as we go before the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privileges of having been in the body of Christ. We have come together to watch the miracle of your love and the power of your spirit work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise, the honor, the start. Oh. I just superimposed you. And union with one another. And under his arm for protection. And near his heart to be loved. God said for this call shall a man leave mother and father. And shall cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. One flesh in companionship, one flesh in the propagation of children, and one flesh in the testimony of the joy of a Christian marriage. And to these witnesses, I want to say to you that you are here to witness a very, very special event. Jesus said in the 18th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it will be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. You are out here tonight, not just because of tradition, but you are here for a very serious purpose, to bear witness forever of the miraculous union that will take place, and to add your agreement before God to that which takes place. Don't ever, ever, ever tamper with this agreement. From this day forward, regardless of what comes, you are in agreement with this union. Don't ever attempt in any way to cause it to be anything other than a happy union. And to all the family and friends tonight, I want to just say this. In the eyes of Almighty God, these two people are both washed in the blood of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ. They have prayed, and before the Lord God Himself, they believe with all their hearts that it is the perfect will of God for them to be joined together in the Spirit. They have made their decision. So from now on until the end of this age, I charge every one of you to do everything in your power to see that this union remains solid, strong, happy, and prosperous. Woe be unto any person who would tamper with it and cause it to be anything other than prosperous. In the eyes of God, this is a miraculous thing, and this is of God. The Bible's definition of true love simply says this. True love is slow to lose patience. Love is kind. Love looks for a way of being constructive. Love is not possessive. Love is neither anxious 
to impress, nor does it cherish the inflated ideals of its own importance. Love has good manners and does not pursue selfish advantage. Love is not touchy. Love does not keep account of evil or gloat over the wickedness of other people. On the contrary, love is glad with all good men when truth prevails. Love knows no limit and to its endurance, no end to its trust, no fading, no fading of its hope. Love can outlast anything. Blackstone, to be your lawfully wedded wife, do you promise to support her and love her for life? Do you solemnly pledge before God and before these witnesses that you'll be faithful to her for the remainder of your life? If so, answer, I will. I will. Denise Laxton, do you take Jim McFarland to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, honor and obey him? Do you solemnly pledge before God and for all of these witnesses that you will be his faithful wife until you are separated by death? If so, answer, I will. Now, I want you to give your flowers. And I want the bride and groom to turn and face each other. And I want you to hold hands. Jim McFarland, please repeat after me. Say, I love you, Denise Laxton. I love you, Denise Laxton. And today, and today, in the presence of our families and friends, in the presence of our families and friends, I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. I reaffirm my faith in Christ. I reaffirm my faith in Christ. And dedicate our marriage. And dedicate our marriage to be Christ centered. To be Christ centered. I promise before God. I promise before God to love you. To love you. To honor you. To honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. And as God enables me. God enables me. I will provide for all your needs and desires. I will provide for all your needs and desires. Say, Denise. Denise. I love you. I love you. Be my wife. Be my wife. And Denise, I want you to please repeat this after me. Say, Jim McFarland. Jim McFarland. I love you. I love you. And I belong for this bit of day. And I belong for this day. To be able to say publicly. To be able to say publicly. To our families and friends. That you're truly a man of God. A man that is tender and sensitive in his love for others. I promise to make you a home where there will be peace for your soul and joy for your heart. My goal is to be a godly woman and to help fulfill our goals and desires. I need you, and I'm proud to become your wife. What symbol do you offer that you will faithfully fulfill these promises? Now, may these rings that I have here typify your unending happiness and love. And may the triangle that was formed by these rings in passing to me and back to each of you signify that triune relationship with God who reigns above, <coughs> excuse me, where all true marriages are made. Now, I want you to take those rings and I want you once again to face one another. And I want you both, as you put the rings on each other's fingers, I want you to repeat this after me. Say, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. 
as a seal of my commitment. As a seal of my commitment. And responsibility to you. And responsibility to you. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. In the name of the Father. And the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now since Jim McFarland and, Nate and Denise Laxton have consented together in these promises and have symbolized this by the giving and the receiving of these rings, I now pronounce them, husband and wife, whom God hath joined together, let no man dare to separate. I'm just going to step aside for just a moment. And I will do it like this. Excuse me. I'll just get right over here. Hallelujah. Amen. And mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one. From now on your thoughts shall be for each other, rather than for your individual selves. Your plans shall be as usually done. Instead, place the candle back in its original place. Still, Jesus Christ. And I want you both to turn now and face kiss. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to present for the first time in public, Mr. and Mrs. Jim McFarland. <laughs>
I have I have mine. See? There you are in the wedding invitation. See? How to get a picture of Rich and your wife together. Get a few people on the wedding invitation. Up there going, you can't. Just go on. I'm feeling over the head over the wedding invitation. All right, come here, wait a minute. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Amen. Special people that God has brought together, and I can say it's about time. <laughs> May God richly bless your lives as we've been blessed for knowing you. Amen. Amen. Brother Brown, help yourself. Be, be, feel free to help yourself to the beverages out in the kitchen. Grab a chair and sit down when you're tired of standing and just relax and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, listen, um, okay. <laughs> shy here. Beautiful wedding. Yeah, um, he talked to him about a couple weeks ago. And they left the area. They said not to get it. It's been a while ago. We've got to the church. Oh, I forget what it was. Well, it was a year ago. Look at the She's taking pictures of the Yeah, it's like the same. Yeah, it's like the same. Yeah, it's like the same. Yeah, the same. Yeah, it's like 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 the same. Yeah,
I like the flowers and they all of your two. Where's the next cat? Denise, whatever you do from there. Tell him. Alright, just, just hold it together. Maybe take her hand and you can There you go. Now, Denise, lean back enough where I can see his. That's it. Just like that. That's perfect. Alright, you can look up, Jim. Okay, go ahead and cut. And each of you can get a piece. <laughs> Yeah. Now you find out about each other's character. <laughs> I hope you know by now. They need some napkins, Nancy. That's a good one. That's all right. We'll put it in a king shape. It's a good piece of noise. You want to just show me Actually, oh, right, I know. Oh, I'm Share. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. Play nice, Daddy. Share time with you. Okay, ready? Evidence. Right. Evidence. My I didn't do that. Denise did all those spots and all the ones. Well, that's where you're going. Okay. Okay, ready? Go to it. Come on. Yay! Uh, Yay! Well, she must have made some kind of friend, huh? I think it was in a contract. <laughs> 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 I can't hear what you're saying, but She's I can right only. My but Do you remember I remember Sam this morning with her boo boo. I know, but I can't oh. hear on the camera, but I can see what you're doing. Wasn't she so serious? Yeah. <laughs> took one hour and eleven minutes. <laughs> It's the big ecstasy, ecstasy, ecstasy. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody's leaving at once. Battery held up. Look. You got a, you got a knife full out of it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, dear. We need to get the cellist car. She was number one. The valley guy's not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the board's right out there, whatever number one is. Where is it at the front door? Right, right yeah. out there by the garage. Bye. Wait. Bye. Bon voyage. Good, good. Bye. Bye. Have a nice trip. Okay. Wait. You can't get the door open. Not the oh, come on. Are you dating? <laughs>